Hello and welcome to Around the Planet for the month of August. I'm super excited to interview Mitch Koger. And Mitch, thank you again for willing to be interviewed and share yourself with the Planet family. Absolutely. Why don't you go ahead and get started with tell us what you do and uh, how long you've been here. I'm an automotive team lead technician right now. Okay. Um, I've been here on and off. So I've been a total four years here. All right. I, I believe. Okay. So. Yeah. And you see on and off, and you've gone to different places or taking some time off. I know a lot of our technicians oh, take some time off and travel and do unusual things. And So I started in 2018. I was here until 2021. Mm -hmm. uh, then I moved down to Tex Texas for two years. Okay. So I was down there from 22 to 23. Okay. Then I moved back up here uh -huh. uh, March 2023. Yep. So been here ever since. Well, we're happy you came back. I am too. Everybody was super excited when I heard they were like, he's moving back, he's moving back. <laughs> yeah. So the word yeah. spread quickly and everybody was super excited. Oh, yeah. So I'm glad you came back. Oh, yeah. Plus, Texas is hot too. Colorado's hot right now, but Texas is super hot. Texas was awful during the summer. And it's, is it humid? And, oh, so humid. I can't handle it. It was even that. worse during the winter. Seriously? Oh, yeah. I didn't oh, yeah, realize that. The humidity. Oh, my God. Right. So there was one time it was about zero degrees, it felt like it was negative 30. Oh my god! You didn't want to step outside. Oh, that's amazing. I didn't realize mm -hmm. that. Mm-hmm. It was bad. I haven't been to Texas in the winter. No. Well, it's hot here, so hopefully, but the great thing for Colorado is we know we have within three weeks, probably, less than that, we're going to going into, start going into fall, going to have a beautiful fall, and then winter. I love our seasons. Oh yeah, it's great. You know? I enjoy it as well. It's, it it mm. is perfect. So Mitch, I know you do a fabulous job. In fact, I heard that you just got a wonderful award a review on your uh, video that you made last week were you the winner of the of the oh yeah, yeah i did see that of the video that's that. cool that's awesome yeah. yeah that's all right not every everybody once in a while not everybody <laughs> loves doing those yeah and you know it we got to do them right you have because, to do them because it increases the chances of getting things sold absolutely and, and the trust the customer. Yeah. yep and the trust and next maybe we, what we should do is explain what it is in case people don't know so all the technicians i mean you explain it better than i do all right well we just take a video of the vehicles mm -hmm. we look over the vehicles first then yep. we start to take the video right uh-huh we tell them hey you know your brakes are looking good your tires are looking good right it builds trust totally does the technician totally does right so you know your tires are looking a little uneven yep. it looks like you need an alignment right right and sends that straight to the customer they're okay yeah good a picture speaks right. a thousand words i mean the ones i've mm -hmm. seen you know that you guys will show the fluid in the car and the oil and be like it's really dirty it, it can't really you're not faking all this stuff it's no. like it's your car it's right there i think people really appreciate that exactly. authentic video and i mean if you start with their license plate there's yeah right they absolutely know that it is the right. vehicle. Yeah. So exactly. And I think it's great too because it also shows like, you know, you don't need maybe new tires right now, but the tread is wearing there and eventually you exactly. might need it. I, I love what yeah. we do. I think you guys do a fabulous job and I think it really gives customers a peace of mind knowing that there's oh. video, you're watching their car, you're not gonna just slam in, into anything and oh, you have to have new tires. You're showing, you got, you're good for a couple months, exactly. you know? Exactly, yeah. So I love that. But again, I think it takes some time to get used to hearing your own voice when you're recording and creating this video. Yeah, yeah, that's, I try not to listen to my videos. I know, right? I know. So it's just like, okay, I didn't stutter, I didn't do anything, so I'm just gonna send. Yep, <laughs> yep, that's the best way to do so, it. Yep. Well, and your voice is great anyway, so you, it probably sounds great. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> so what's your favorite car to work on or favorite engine or what's, what do you really like doing? Uh, I like doing it all. You do diagnosis, yeah. you know, everything, uh, everything. You're just everything. a through professional. I like to figure things out. I like to just go ahead and parts replace. I, okay. I like it all. You like it all. That's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. Well, you're very good at it. Thank you. So thank, thank you. you. So Mitch, is there a busier month than other months throughout the year? Do you have you found that to be true? I would say our summer months are more busy. Okay. There's mm -hmm. a lot more people traveling, mm -hmm. coming through, going, coming to Colorado. Right. Right. That's true. Because of the true. mountains and all that. Yeah. So, That's yeah. true. I know many times we've had people, their cars break down someplace and we send a tow truck and we bring them in and help them fix them and, oh, yeah. and they're on their family vacation. Oh, yeah. So I do think it's busy. Although you guys are always busy down there. Oh, yeah. It's, always busy. You guys are a, it's a, we've it's got a, plenty of work. I know. <laughs> it's very busy. That's, that's so true. So have you found, what is the difference between working on like a regular gas car versus the, the new electric cars? Is there a really a big difference? Uh, yes, I would say there's a pretty big difference. A lot of uh, electrical diagnosis, obviously, okay. with an electric sure. vehicle. So sure. it's just a lot more testing. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. So, yeah. That's very from, interesting. Yeah. 
So outside of work, what are some of the hobbies you like to do or anything you want to tell the Planet family about yourself that we maybe don't know? I like motorcycles. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got a really? 2006 Honda CBR 600 and I've got a 2007 Honda CBR 1000. Wow. So I like motorcycles. Okay, and maybe I you can like show us a picture. Let me see if I can. You can show them. me. And you work on them too? I enjoy working on them. I actually enjoy working on motorcycles more. Do you really? More than yeah. working on vehicles. Yeah. So why, do you, why is that? Just different. Yeah. It's just, it, you know, it's kind of a getaway. So you wear a helmet. Tell me you do wear a helmet if you ride it. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I always see people on their motorcycles, and I, I must be like an old funny day, but I'm like, wear a helmet, wear a helmet, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, and you know, it's kind of a personal choice. Like my brother likes to ride motorcycles too. And, and he doesn't wear one. He doesn't wear it's one. like skiing. So Not everybody cycle. wears a helmet skiing. Yeah. And I get it. They want to have the freedom, but I'm like, yeah, but motorcycle, even skiing, you hit a tree, you're probably going to lose. So that is my CBR. Oh, out. wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. We'll for sure show it to everybody. That's beautiful. Thank when you. did you get it? Uh, last year around this time. Okay. Yeah. I don't and then do you buy them? Like you, you kind of redo the whole thing or are they pretty good to go when you purchase them? Uh, most of the time they're pretty good to go. Yeah. But that's nice. I'm tweaking uh, i'm picky about yeah. motorcycles yeah i've noticed so it's just so like, what do okay, you i'm gonna replace that what do you what are you picky most picky on mm, i would say mostly just the mechanics okay right because they are chain drive and you got to make sure that chain is tight lubricated right. wow um make sure there's no leaks because obviously on two wheels you run into leaks there goes your tires yeah so that's true it's a little dangerous so yeah yeah that's yep. i think that'd be terrifying for me yeah. so how often do you ride your motorcycles Mm, I would say at least twice a week. Okay. At the very least. Do you drive up in the mountains or what do you usually do? I like going up to the mountains. Yeah. Yes, yes. But it's mostly from here to home. Okay. You know, things like that. Yeah. So, so transportation for you too, not just exactly. out fun. Mm -hmm. You use it for transit, which is great. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't know that about you. Yeah. So Mitch, anything else that you like to do on your weekends or days off? I enjoy going up to the mountains. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you hike or... I, I enjoy hikes here and there, but yeah. not all the time. Just drive more. Yeah, right? yeah it's yeah. more of the view. Yeah, there's really? some beautiful views. I mean, it's spectacular. Oh, yeah. I we just it. went to, have you ever heard of, Na no, I'm going to get it wrong, but Nathrop, Nathrop, Colorado. It's by Buena Vista. Hmm. I've never I've even heard of it. Mm -mm. And our godchildren's parents invited us, and it's all these beautiful hot springs. Never even knew it existed. Wow. I'm almost a native. Wow. I know. Should go check it out. N I mean, Nathrop? Like, Nathrop. Yeah, huh. it, was it was beautiful. It's right by Buena Vista. Interesting. Probably like 15 minutes. Okay. Never been there. Okay. So isn't that interesting? We live in Colorado and have the time we haven't been. To, oh, yeah. There's so many places oh, yeah. to see. Oh, yeah. Do you have a yes. favorite place that you like to go and drive and look at the views? Just up to Lookout Mountain. Uh, yeah. Sometimes Georgetown. Oh, that's nice. Right, but Georgetown's about, you know, 40, 45 yeah. minutes. So it's just like, eh, it's a little out of the way. Yeah, so, which is perfect. Lookout Mountain, it's just 10 minutes down the road. I know. It's so. beautiful. Especially in the fall. Oh, yeah. I like it up there. It's, it's so nice pretty. And cool. I know. It's not hot. That's awesome. Do you have a favorite season? I would say fall. Fall. Mm -hmm. I like fall too. Because it's nice and cool. You know, Do you think fall has a smell? People always say like seasons have smells, like the leaves I changing. I haven't noticed it. You have to. Now that you mention it, yeah. I think I have. Yeah. You'll have to see. Our daughter went out of state for college, and I she that was her favorite. I used to send her leaves in a package to open in California and she'd <laughs> smell them. So that's why I always you know, ask people, can you smell fall? And, uh, Interesting. I know. So wow. you'll have to, this fall when you're up in the mountains or you're up with the leaves, give Just a little smell a and, and see if you can smell fall. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. All right. So All what's right. your favorite color of leaves for the fall? Mm, I think it's a, like that maroon red. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love asking that's people that because everybody has their face. Some are orange. Oh, some yeah. people are yellow. I mean, but that, yeah, the red is beautiful. Well, thank you so much. Absolutely. I appreciate your time and all of your things sharing with us. Absolutely. Anytime. Okay. Anytime. Well, I'm so glad we had this chance to catch up and meet each other. Oh, yeah. Thank you.